So Cassidy, while we have the expert with, with us, do you have any questions for Amy? I think now as I'm, you know, trying to put myself back out there and get good at dating again, since, you know, obviously I'm not really dating right now. Um, I can also see myself having an issue with, you know, becoming vulnerable again and opening myself up um, with the, you know, chance that, you know, someone else could leave me too. So um, what advice do you have for me in that regard? Cassidy, your greatest lesson in this lifetime is to practice opening your heart, even when it hurts, especially when it hurts. And during this time, it seems like you've learned a lot about yourself and different tools to help you have compassion and get back up from the hurt. So you are inherently safe and you need to remember that. And that if you were to meet someone and date and love fully and love truly and deeply, and it didn't work out according to plan, you will get back up. You have the tools, you have the resilience. So remember that because sometimes when we get hurt, it's really easy to default and react to this place of, closing up and I'm never going to love again. I'm never going to let someone hurt me, but that's a practice practice opening up your heart and remember this is your time to experience dating different people so that you can understand what you want. And more importantly, what you don't want, don't get stuck on a type. And I think that sometimes we have an idea of all these things we want on a checklist, but focus on your values and do you have shared values with this person and how do you want to feel i would recommend to you write down a list of what does love not feel like what does unhealthy feel like write that down then write a second list of what does healthy love and support feel like and you if you don't know off the top of your head because you didn't experience it in your last relationship draw on some examples of how your friends and family show up for you write that list and as long as you can tell the difference on a cerebral level between unhealthy and healthy that will help you recognize healthy love on an experiential level and then next time you meet someone and you know maybe you're feeling that chemistry and your emotions are kind of taking over this is a good time for you to pause and take a look at that list. Um, is this healthy? Is it unhealthy? Are there red flags that I'm just ignoring because I want a relationship badly? And right now during a pandemic, it might be a little bit tough, but I'd say conduct a dating experiment. Date 10 different people who you normally would not really, you know, give a chance to. And your only intention is to try to exercise your muscle of curiosity and connection. Don't put so much pressure on yourself of, I need to find the one, I need to, you know, meet my next husband. It just puts so much pressure on you and the situation, and it makes dating not fun. Amy, you have a surprise yes, for Cassidy, I do. right? So, Cassidy, uh, as a surprise, uh, we'd love to gift you um, a ticket to the three day virtual breakup boot camp. And our goal is we're going to have myself and a bunch of different of the top relationship experts from psychologists, relationship coaches, behavioral scientists. Um, and we're going to help you really move on from the past, um, create a new foundation and help you move forward to create healthy love. Oh my word. Thank you, you so think, much. That yeah. is so incredible. I'm beyond excited. Words can't even describe how I feel right now. <laughs> Guys, this is awesome. This is what we do here at The Doctors. Uh, we hear problems and we try to find some solutions. So Amy, thanks for the offer. Cassidy, thank you for sharing your story. We, of course, wish you the absolute best and we're gonna follow with you to see how it goes, Perfect. okay? Thank you guys so much.